Okay guys, I wouldn't usually do a quick little video like this, but I thought it was kind of interesting. And if we go a bit further in, oh, what's that? Is that a, is that a random orange thing in this tank? This is Lyra's hiding place. Oh my god. Is she? She's under the dirt as well. Oh my goodness. Maybe she's laying eggs. Okay, let's let's not say that. <laughs> Where is her body? Is it just her head in here? Hi Lyra. <laughs> okay, this is looking so weird. Look how deep down her body is. Do you know what it is? Her head is like in the shape of a spade. Like crested geckos, I swear, are made for digging. Just the shape of their head alone. Okay, this is at the point where literally her whole bottom half and tail is fully in the ground. Which, I don't know why she's done this. I've never seen a crested gecko go this deep when digging. There's a tiny chance, I guess, that she could be laying in fertile eggs, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to spray down the tank and I'm going to leave her and we'll come back a little bit later. Okay guys, Lyra's now coming out of the dirt, but because she was laying down by the side of the tank, that means if she laid anything, we'd be able to see it, and I've already seen what looks like an egg. You see this little white thing here? Now, I'm like really excited i'm trying to keep my cool because i don't want to freak out lyra it'd be really annoying if we get down there and it's actually just like the urinite you know the part on the poop that's white but i'm so excited right now i did not expect this so i'm gonna wait for her to move on her own i don't want to disturb her and i'm gonna come back and we're gonna dig them up so it's been 30 or 40 minutes and i think she is done i think she's actually curled up asleep now so she's pretty much at the same level of the moss you see a little leaf there so i'm going to take her out see how she's doing i love how this video went from a ha ha look at what my crusty gecko is doing when she's hiding to a i think she's laid eggs and if you're wondering there was a video i did sort of announcing that one of my crusty geckos was carrying eggs and that was isla that wasn't even lyra that was my other gecko i have not expected anything from lyra although what i will say is for the last week or two i've noticed her really low down on the floor and i actually thought she was hunting wood lice but maybe she was picking a spot to lay her eggs so let's just hey lyra I expect she's quite worn out Oh, look at your face. Oh yeah, oh, but she looks a little bit slimmer. I'm gonna put her up in her coconut so she can have a nice sleep. So now I'm gonna dig with a nice plastic spoon. Have to say, downside to having a live tank is you've gotta pretty much dig up your plants. We've got a wandering dew here. It's actually been doing really well, but it's been dug up and one of the plants over here has. So now we have to dig right by the bamboo. So I'm gonna remove some of this moss and let's dig oh my goodness oh my goodness look at this look at these tiny tiny little eggs oh my god they're tiny compared to leopard geckos why am I whispering? <laughs> I'm so excited. I know like there'll be people who breed crested geckos regularly and this means nothing, but I'm always so excited. Now I must say these are appearing kind of yellow in here, but loads of people have told me to incubate them just in case a tiny chance they could actually hatch out because um, I did a video actually on pathogenesis. It's quite an old video, I will warn you, <laughs> but it's a very interesting subject and we may have babies. I mean, there's a tiny chance, but oh my God, I'm so excited. 
Okay, so I've put these two eggs where they get incubate. Um, I had bought this stuff for Isla like a couple months ago because I thought her eggs were going to be here quite soon. I can't think of the name, I'll put it on the screen because the name has escaped me right now, but I saw this in one of the tutorials about incubation and I thought, meh, I'll try it. Um, this one is quite deflated but this is looking good. As I said, most likely nothing will come out of this but I feel like it's worth trying and if anything I get to incubate eggs which I've never been able to do before so really exciting stuff. I can't believe how this has transpired from a really <laughs> silly gecko like hiding to oh my god she has actually laid eggs. Okay guys it's like an hour or two later and I went to see Lyra and she was actually by the area where she laid her eggs so I don't know if it's normal for female crested geckos to go back to that area it kind of makes sense if they're a bit protective but um yeah she was over there obviously they only laid two eggs at a time so I'm not looking for any more but um since I've got her out and actually looking at her I can see she's looks like she's lost quite a bit of weight obviously because she just pumped out two eggs <laughs> but I've given her some food and she's been eating it I think when I started filming it's put her off a little bit but what we're going to do is weigh her now just to see how much she's lost by laying those two eggs. So she was 40 grams on the 26th of August today's the 6th of September so if we can get her on the plate get on the plate, get on the plate 37! 37 grams, wow! Okay, she popped out two eggs, she does look slimmer, but she's only lost three grams, that's amazing. Because actually, someone said to me that to get Isla's weight up, because crested geckos, either they lose five grams per egg, or they just lo lose five grams from laying the eggs. So, I think she's done pretty well. I'm really happy with her, I can't, it's the biggest shock, I did not expect her to lay eggs just need to get Isla to pop hers out now because hers are really sticking out so I really hope she doesn't get egg bound or anything but I hope you've enjoyed today's video it's been quite the journey um if you haven't already click the subscribe button I don't often say that but a lot of people lately have said to me how do you not have that many subscribers so I don't know people must not click the button but you know for the sake of Lyra laying the eggs today people click the subscribe button. <laughs> I like never say that but if you would that would be lovely. Anyway thank you very much for watching guys and goodbye.